hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and um today like i made the announcement earlier on my instagram and on my facebook that i will be um teaching people my design process and how i design logos which can help get into designers edge and also clients edge so i i requested that you guys send um design brief and of the design brief i received there's one i'll be designing with you guys now and this is the brief the brief is um steps consulting and electric trickle engineering it's the description says step consulting and electrical engineering just as the name says it's an electrical engineering consulting that seeks to serve customers with electrical engineering problems the solution to solving them we provide a high quality and unique service to the clients. Okay, what do they want the new logo to do to attract new customers? Then, who are the main competitors and how do you differ from them? Electrical companies and consulting agencies. So, uh, what are the okay, attention, affordability? They want the, the brand entity for a company. Their potential clients are home users and anyone in need of electrical service. They want it to be affordable, simple, friendly, mature, traditional. That's how they want the logo to look like. So, which other media is the logo likely to be used? Physical and electronic here. Yeah. So, what other company? They said none, none. Do you have any specific image or symbol you want to portray in the logo? They want trust, uniqueness, quality. They want a logo type or word mark. They want a letter mark or monogram. They want a combination mark. So, okay. So, from what I deduce from this brand, I'll be, I'll have to make some research and some um, engineering brand. So I, I looked up some. This is on 99 designs. So some engineering logos I saw. Okay, this is this is a letter mark engineering brand. This is Rose Point Scoots, White Coasts, Reverse Engineering. This is another one, Catch Jablons. This is another one, Kappa. Um, I think this one particularly captured my 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 high. It's an engineering consulting firm. Yeah, this is this is more like what our brief is diving towards. So, but let's still see more. Brutal software engineering. Okay, I like this also the simplicity of it. And if you look at the brief, it says um, they want something. Where's the look and feel? They want simple, mature, friendly, you know, affordable. Yeah, so let's see more engineering brands. So after doing that, I went ahead to um, Behance, where I saw some engineering brands. You see, I just typed in engineering brands. So I saw some of the some some project that has been done for engineering brand. This is one. You know, there are lots of them. You can just take your time to you know to go through each and every one of them. This is one. This is Firearm. So let's say sites providing civil engineering and design service to assist our clients. Okay. So this is the color palette. I think I particularly like this color palette and I'm going to like go towards that direction also. Okay. So I, I kind of like this brand. And uh, so with that in mind now, what's, what I'm thinking to do is to uh, make use of uh, you know, they said the brand name is Steps, right? The brand name is Steps. So what, what I'm thinking of is to design something in line with Steps. Then it should have some sort of electrical engineering or consult in it in a way. You know, primarily to design a logo, you need to like consider um, some, some things. To consider the brand name if you want to design so that it's, it gives an interpretation of what the brand does. You have to put all those things into consideration. So I'm designing according to the brand name steps. So I have um, I a couple of sketches that I did with the brand name steps S. So I'll, I'll bring in my, my sketch now. So this is, we just ignore this, this, this. Just ignore this ones. Not these ones. Not these ones. So these are primarily these three. Are primarily the um, 
the what's it called? The um, sketches I did, and um, I don't want it to look so generic, so I would like to go with this. Although this is, you know, the the, the sketch here, yeah, this is like, this is like, if you look at this triangle and triangle, I mean, this square and this square, it's like a connection. There's like a connection between them. I don't know if you want to. This is one thing. The first square and second square, you know, they co they are connected. So that's what I'm talking about. They are connected so if you look at this also it is connected this is also connected same thing here it is connected it is connected so now the point is i want to make use of this sketch i think this this works better for me but you know basically your sketch is just to give you like the rough idea of what your logo will look like yeah so now this is not what i'll be working towards i'm not doing exactly this i have what i have to do figured in my head so let me just Crop it out to this one only. So let me get rid of this. This. So I'll be making use of square, right? So, okay, let me just reduce the opacity of this so that we can see one thing. So, seven to eight. So, I'm making use of a square, the first square, duplicated the second one, then I'll duplicate it again something like this yeah something like this now i have to you know make it look like what we have in my design so i'll be using my line to to you know create something like this it's again for this place i do it again for this middle this again here and then here so let me get rid of this. So this is what I have. Now basically the shape here is blank. Here is blank. So I have to use my segment delete tool or your path view that in Illustrator to clear those parts. Okay, I should leave this, remove this. I'll take this off. I don't need all this, all this, this and this. So I'm leaving this, taking this off, taking this off, taking this off. Uh, I'll be taking this off also. I'm just using my sketch as a reference. You get so I'll take this off also. I will also take this and this off. So this is what I have. But that's not my, you know, this is already showing you that it's a step, right? But the direction I want to work towards is actually not to make the step an obvious step. I want to make it as minimal as possible. So the next thing I will fill those parts. This part and this part, then this part and this part to form the step. As we can see, it's, it's just like a negative space playing out here. If you look at it properly, you can still see the step, right? So this is what I am working with. This is the logo I am working with. So I won't be making use of this. But if you agree with me, this comes from this, right? So that's it. That's my logo for step. So the next thing is to find the appropriate typeface. Uh, the brand name is Steps. Let me just copy it out. Brand name is Steps. Yes. So the brand name is Steps. That's what I'll I'll pronounce. What we are pronouncing is not um, consulting and electrical engineer. Of course, it's a consulting and electrical engineer. But we want to make the name more pronounced. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. It's just like Apple. We know Apple is um, a gadget company, but you won't see them promote or use the gadget company in their name. So advisably, you can use just steps only. So this is what I want to do. I'm using steps. So for this kind of brand, the ideal type of font to use is a sans serif, just like area now. Area is a sans serif font. But then I have a font in my head I want to use, which is fracture. So yeah, this is the font I want to use. Now it's remaining this consult and electrical engineering. I'll still use the same font. Fracture. So maybe something like this. And I'll break this down, reduce it, right? Consoles and electrical engineering. So align it to the left. So basically, I'm done with my logo design for steps. I can just group everything together and reduce accordingly. And maybe increase this. 
yeah so for the steps logo i am done and like i said i like the color palette used here so i can probably pick um, select some of, one of the colors right I have the colors used here, so I can just pick from the color and um, you just paste it. So let me pick from this color. I can get rid of my sketch, it's just as a guide, so I can pick from this color. I'm using the, the, those two colors, so I'll probably just Yes, this and then um, this. So that's my logo for steps. And um, I hope you learned something from this. So should you have any question as regards this logo design, do ensure you ask me. So I can just create more variations of it or more color variations like this. So that's it. So this is the full logo and the icon. The icon. So this is the logo. This is the icon. You can see still the steps, right? And you can still see the connection, which is here and here. So you can just match them together so that there is no, you know, yeah. So you can see the connection, you can see the steps, and we have our logo done. And we know that the connection is, you know, electrical engineering. It deals with connection, right? So I'm basically done with the logo, and that will be all for this tutorial. So if you are watching this tutorial, I mean, if you're on this channel for the first time, do ensure you subscribe, leave the comments, like, and share with other creatives. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.